it was more like negative 11. Don't let yourself show. <laughs> You're not going, you prohibited. What, I, what I've noticed is a lot of younger people that come in, they, they don't have a plan. Like nobody really sits down there and you know, they go over a five year plan with them. Hey, get this shot. Wow. There you go. I want to say good morning. Uh, it's Sunday, as you guys saw on the sign. It's actually not negative two, it's more like negative 11. But uh, cold is cold. So, uh, as I said, it's Sunday and we're getting ready to roll on uh, a mission. I thought it'd be awesome for you guys to ruin your weekend as well and come on with us. Like, it's not really ruining, but it's ruining. But, you know, it's what we got to do. So, we're going to go outside and uh, look at the trucks and get them started and all that good stuff. And then you guys should be along for the for the combo brief and uh, whatever else we do. So, right now we're about to form it up, do a roll call, all that good stuff. So, <laughs> Can I get in this? <laughs> Say what's up, Sarah Mitchell. How's it going on? Chopped and screwed. <laughs> Biggest challenge for me is uh is the cold. Sorry to say I don't fuck with cold. I keep a couple of gloves with me on deck because I don't mess around. I, I got these but we're gonna grab stuff because I can't grab shit with these mittens. And I got some some extra extra cold weather mittens. And I got my puffy suit in there. I don't, I, don't, I don't do cold. I ain't, I ain't gonna make it. But for me to be an effective leader, I gotta be out there in the cold making it happen. Alright, so this is a map of uh, Alaska. Well, uh, for the most part. And as you can see here, Fort Wayne, right? Oh shit, right here. This is, this is where we start, this is where we are. I wanna zoom in there. Hey, okay. And then we go from Fort Wayne, right? To Nania. Alright, <clears throat> Nana, the Nana, I can't say the Nana. So we stop here for about 10, 15 minutes and then we keep going. Come all the way down. Then the Cantwood is our next stop. As you see, it's where we get all, all the mountains and all that cold stuff. And then we bring it on down again, Alaska Highway. And this is the next stop, Telkitina. And then we come to Wasilla right before we get Jaybird. We stop to uh, try to get fuel. We get a little break in between. And right now we're at another a rest stop. We usually go to the gas station right there, and then we hit up Subway. We got me a sandwich. This is some good work over here. Let's see what's popping. Hey, good job. What's up, people? It's, it's kind of cold in here. Um, so, I just got settled in a little bit. I just took a shower, uh, brushed my teeth, get ready for bed. Um, and once again, I gave you a little tour of the room. It's very small, but it does what it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic incentives is just like last time. Closet dirty. Don't pay attention to that. Mm hmm. 
all that good stuff. I'm about to call the wife and tell her good night and all that good stuff. And then we're going to get up and uh, get back to work tomorrow. The the ride down here wasn't too bad, as you guys seen. Uh, I really expected the roads to be a lot better. Well, I'm sorry, a lot worse. So it, it really wasn't that bad. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if the wife and I pack the kids up in the car and come down here and go to Target or something. So um, anyway, I'm, I'm about to lay it down. I was just watching a documentary. I love documentaries. It's, 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 it's kind of weird how things are because I was hesitant to learn uh, a lot when I was growing up. I didn't like to learn. All I wanted to do was play. And I, I kind of like get a little bit upset with my kids, cause, especially my big one, because he, he's just like that. He, he wants to do his play, but uh, I, I totally understand. But but now uh, it's kind of different for me since I'm older, I guess, that I'd rather learn than, you know, play. I, I keep the play stuff to the back burner. Unless I'm doing it with them, you know, I'm, I'm more about knowledge and all that good stuff. So I was doing a lot of reading about promotions and all that good stuff on the way up here, just uh, trying to keep it fresh. And because at, at the end of the day, what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna be teaching this to the lower enlisted, to the junior enlisted rather, how to get promoted. What, I, what I've noticed is a lot of younger people that come in, they, they don't have a plan. Like nobody really sits down there and you know, they go over a five year plan with them what to do, what's their goal. If, if their goal is staff sergeant, if their goal is to get a social degree or a trade or whatever, it's the responsibility of that leader to show them the path, sit down with them and, you know, make a tentative two, three year plan on how to reach that goal. And that's that's what we're really missing. I know I didn't have one. I, I just started to get my stuff together and have an ideal plan of, you know, what I wanted only a couple of years ago. So, um, it's, it's it's definitely important, but just things like that. The documentary that I was just watching was uh, Where to Invade Next. I don't know if you guys know him, but he's really cool. Uh, talks about the government and he goes to other countries and really like breaks down what's the problem in America because you know we obviously have, have have problems. It's just kind of weird to see that all these other countries are supposed to be poor and they have free tuition, um, free health care, and you know we're we're struggling with our issues over here in America. So it's a really good knowledge-based documentary. I'm hungry for it. And I would like for my, my family, especially my wife, to be a little more observant um, about what's going on in the surroundings, but we'll get there. Other than that, you guys be with me. I bring the camera now, you know, and we'll uh, get back to it tomorrow. Hi, good morning. This is the next morning. I didn't show you guys when I first got up and had breakfast and everything. He didn't need to see all that anyway. So right now what we're doing is called a uh, before and after PMTS. Got everybody out here working and uh, making sure our vehicles are intact. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we don't have no leaks or no oils, any leaks or anything. Flat tires, busted seals. What's been happening a lot is the vehicles come from Fairbanks in that negative 15 weather. Um, they drive down here to a warmer climate and it kind of like messes the vehicles up. And then also, like these vehicles have been on the road constantly for, for the last six, seven, eight, nine months. So they're they're really getting that work. So we got to make sure that we're doing our part and do proper PMCS, so uh, pre preventive mix, preventive maintenance checks and services. So that's what we're doing right now. And then we're gonna go to the uh, the load up ramp and download our equipment right there. So that's what we're doing right now. Sometimes it's pretty hard to get these angles when I'm working. Hey, get this shot. Wow. Uh, no. Is this a thing? Yes. It's pretty cool. Battery's gonna die. Can't find the charger. Move, park. I'm back home. Obviously, I'm back home. <laughs> it's okay. Okay? Okay? It's okay. Yeah, like life is ending. I wanted to finish the vlog. 
Um, we obviously got to Jaber safely, but I didn't get the chance to film the rest of it and going back and everything. I misplaced the battery charger. And I had I um, went to Amazon and purchased another one. I had to tell my wife that I lost it, and she called it too. She was like, "Babe, you didn't really, you haven't went anywhere." So I bet I bet you it's in this bag. And I'm like, "He don't know what you're talking about." I, I took everything out <laughs> like last always. night, and I, I found it. So in his bag, I'm, I'm sorry. like Mama said. Oh, well, what? How's this still recording? I don't know. How much batteries left? Okay. <laughs> Guys, we haven't charged the battery, and he said that How the- How much battery's left? I don't know, but it's still recording. Oh, now it's blinking. Anyway, so I'm back home. Uh, the mission was a, a success. The roads that we were worried about were not as bad as we thought. And um, until next time. So I hope you guys liked it. We didn't get the, the whole thing, but it was pretty cool. Hey, uh, what's up, Jason? I seen uh, Jason Pareko down there. So I'm first class type. Met him down there. And, and he watches? Yeah. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you later. We're waiting for Desmond's a night. Ride. We're waiting for a piggyback ride. Daddy can't do push ups <laughs> because it's me and Jericho and he's really strong. Oh, honey, he's, you're very strong, they said. Do it for your sons. Oh! Help Daddy, get it, baby. Get it. You're the hawk to them boys. And mommy is super woman. Super hawk. <laughs> Good job. Uh, he, he's tapping his butt because he wants Corey to get on his back. Oh, yeah. One good. time. Again. Dad life. Ah. And whoever falls off. I told you no, right? Dude. Two times. <laughs> Peace out, you guys.